More young adults, they're throwing their support behind a shorter work week. According to a new national survey from CNBC and Generation Lab, an overwhelming 81% of people between the ages of 80, 18 and 34 believe a four-day work week would boost their company's productivity. Now, this is an idea that's really catching the attention of a lot of business leaders, a lot of lawmakers in Congress. So, here to break it down, CNBC senior personal finance correspondent Sharon Epperson joins us now. Sharon, I have thought this is a brilliant idea for quite a long time. What is driving this push right now and why younger Americans? Well, younger Americans say that they're more productive if they're able to have the four day work week. Most people say that and overwhelmingly that is what this survey found. It's likely to increase productivity. It's also likely to decrease burnout among employees and a lot of other surveys have also showed that it could increase efficiency retention, and also just the overall revenue of the company. So many companies are looking at it. What's interesting in this survey, though, is that the younger workers were not in alignment in terms of where they want to work. Mm -hmm. While about 60% said they wanted to work in the office, about 40% said that they would prefer to work at home. Mm -hmm. um, and, and they're not that, that optimistic about the overall job market. The job market is pretty strong, but yet there is a high percentage that say that they think it's pretty bad, at least the way that they're looking at it. And maybe that's because we did see a bit of a slower growth in terms of the job market in April. Yeah, and what's interesting is that this survey actually looked at a lot of really hot ticket issues, right, especially in this election year. And one of the things that I found really fascinating was uh, this notion of abortion bans driving away young talent. How are those abortion bans affecting these companies? Well, when you look at the 20 states or so that have restricted abortions or banned abortions, a lot of people, younger people are saying, I don't want a job in that state and I am not going to accept a job offer in that state. About 45 percent said that they would probably not or definitely reject a job offer and about two-thirds said that they didn't want to live in a state like that. So what companies are now being forced to do is kind of reevaluate their employee benefits. Some are offering out-of-state travel wow. benefits for those who want to have an abortion out of state, but they're really having to take a hard look at this and realize that they may be losing mm -hmm. a lot of young talent that don't want to live in the state at all. Yeah, an issue that's really galvanized voters, especially along these generational lines. Sharon Absolutely. Epperson, as always, we appreciate you. Thanks sure. so much, Sharon. Good to be here.